Good morning, cozy friends. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday morning so far. Just waiting for my switch to load here, and we're going to be doing some Animal Crossing today. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for the resub, Ray. Welcome in, my love. Good morning. Happy to see you. Vanilla chai tea this morning. Welcome in, Cozy Kitty Cat. Ooh, a hazelnut latte for Ray. Yum. Let me know how the sound is for everybody. If you have any feedback positive or negative on the sound quality, let me know. We're working on improving that as much as we possibly can. Sounds good, all right, happy to hear that. Here's a good morning from Isabel. What is on the agenda today? Terraforming and happy home paradise. Yes, probably, yeah, so I wanna terraform a yard for Vivian. Um, I already have her housing kit from Tom Nook that I have to place, but I want to terraform some stuff before I place her house down. Um, and then I'll probably decorate her yard, and yeah, if we have time and we want to do Happy Home Paradise, that's the plan. But I want to get Vivian's yard done first. Probably like, buy some turnips, too. <laughs> Yeah, it should just be a really cozy day. Oh, I forgot to change my outfit after the fishing tourney yesterday. Aww. Aww. Stitches. you like your vanilla latte? Welcome in, friend. Hope you're doing well this morning. I'm doing well. Pretty tired. We stayed up so late, but I'm good. I'm happy. How are you? dress. What's that? That's cute. I like that. Okay, I'm just going to clean up my pockets a little bit and then we'll get get some turnips. 
I also want to change my outfit, actually. Oh my goodness, where was he hiding? Uh, that's so cute. Aww. Cats are silly. I love how playful and curious they are, though. But yeah, it's sometimes like, oh, where did they go? Are they lost or just... Just exploring a new hiding spot. Trying to decide which shoes I want to wear. These are always a go-to that I really like. Those are my other favorites. Let's see. I think I'm going to wear... Either that one or maybe this one. For turnips. Oh, he was hiding on a dining room chair. Oh, I'm so glad he was safe. Just hanging out. Aw. I can't decide which bag I want to wear. I think the brown one. So that I can have a couple little, like my little turnip shopping bag. I like this. This is cute. <clears throat> okay, now we need a shirt for turnips. For turnip day. Oh, it's so cute. Hmm. I don't know if that's the one I want to wear, though. Oh, I love this one. It has robins on it. Oh, it's super cute. Yeah, let's go with that one. I think this one's good. Okay, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Anybody else gonna buy turnips this morning? Good morning, Quinn. 
We're going to get turnips. That's where we're going. Oh, I love the positivity. Oh, we might have to sell them together. Wait a minute, why is KK Slider here? Isn't he normally here on Saturdays? What's happening? I don't know. How do you have KK? I don't know. That's what I was just wondering. It's kind of weird, right? If you ever need help, I can watch for prices. I do it for Amber and I. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Ray usually sells our turnips. Like, he finds, um, he enjoys, like, like hunting for islands where they're, like, 500 or more. And, um, and we just do it that way. Did you time travel or something? Did Isabel say Daisy May is here? Yeah, no, I don't time travel. Um, and Isabel, Isabel did say that Daisy May was here, so it is Sunday in my game. It's weird. Let's see what he says. You have KK also? Oh, wait a minute. So... It must be... Okay, wait, it's not... Usually in, like, sometime in the summer, I think, like, July maybe or something, or August, like, like he comes more often for, like, summer events, but I don't think there's anything going on right now. Okay, so Ray has KK, Stephanie has KK. I assume Michael has KK too then. That's weird. There must be something going on. <laughs> Hey, what's buzzing? I'm putting on another show today before I hit the road again. Okay, KK, good boundaries, but why are you here? That's weird. He's doing a, another night? Oh, it's because he couldn't come yesterday because of the fishing tourney, so they bumped it up to today. That makes more sense. Okay, gotcha. Yep. I... That's a simple explanation, and it's probably true. That threw me off for a second. I was like, wait a minute, what? Ooh, look how pretty this is. Wow, that's gorgeous. Aw, cute. This would be really cute for my flea market. I might get that. I'm gonna create a flea market eventually. After I get all my neighborhood stuff done, I'll probably start that. Flea market season, yeah. Azalea just gave you a toilet. Oh my goodness. I hope it was the good one. The tankless toilet. And I kind of hope it's pink, just because that's so fun. Yeah, sometimes the villagers just give you like the most random items. It's silly. The squat one? Oh, that's even worse. Oh my goodness, Azalea. Get your shit together. <laughs> that's so funny. How dare she? I know. That's very interesting. I'm gonna get turnips since Ray's gonna be my turnip dealer. I love it. Same. Stephanie, same. 
if anybody is interested in the store, let me know. I can open the gate for you to come over and get stuff whenever you want. As long as I'm not in the middle of terraforming. Once we start terraforming, I'll be doing that for a while. And then you'll have to wait. So if you want anything from the store, like, soon, let me know so I can open the gate and you can come get it. Or I can send it to you. I am going to get this, though, but anyone who wants it is more than welcome to come catalog it. Might want to put cozy music on for terraforming since you get in the zone. True. I can do that for sure, because I definitely tend to stop talking when I'm like focused on terraforming. So if that happens, at least you'll have some music in the background. The Animal Crossing music's not too bad, but honestly, like, it might be nice to have some like cozier music with, um, you know, the sound of terraforming. That's a really good suggestion. Thank you. painting that I got from my mailbox and I want to put that in the museum before I forget about it and then assume it's just a fake painting and like decorate with it or something it must be under this oh I wonder if it's under wall stuff is that a shortcut yes okay cool catch for anyone who's interested in star you oh Ray got it nice good catch okay Ooh, a peacock butterfly I don't know if I have this one yet but even if I don't I'm gonna save it for a model because I love this butterfly it's gorgeous Oh my goodness, I love how it's so shiny and metallic. Good morning, Coco. So this is the area we're gonna be working on today. I think what I wanna do, I just added this bridge um, earlier this week. And I think what I wanna do, oops, is apparently not catch honeybees. Um, I think I want to build up some waterfall cliffs here and mountains and stuff like that and then I don't know just yet if I want to did you just hear did Coco sneeze is, is that a thing they do do they sneeze oh it's probably Daisy May she probably sneezed oh I need to go get more bells before I can buy my turnips though um, but yeah so the plan for today um, is to terraform this area for Vivian's yard. And I think what I want to do is put her house on the second tier, but I'm not sure. So I'm, that's why I haven't placed it yet because I don't know if I want to put it on the first tier or the second tier. So I'm just going to play around with this like mountain area first and then see how we feel. Turnips acquired. Good job. I'm so happy for you. It's nice to get it done early, isn't it? I'm kind of glad we moved our streams to like 10 instead of like 12 because I really didn't like having to hop on and like rush to get my turn ups or forget about them before streams started. This is better, but then I, I kind of wonder if there are people um, 
in different time zones that might have preferred the other time. So uh, that's something I kind of need to think about too. We might need to maybe stream longer on Sundays or do like two streams or something. I'm, I'm not opposed to the idea. But for now, I'm just planning like 10 to 2 and we'll kind of go from there as I learn more about what people need. Maybe I'll do a poll on Discord or something about time frames. We will see. You've only been streaming a couple of months. So you can play around with what you like time-wise. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just trying to figure it out for now. You know, that's something that people like don't really talk about a lot, but I don't know, like it's one of those blessings. You know, I'm, I'm really grateful to be able to make my own schedule, both for my therapy practice and for streaming. Like, it's really nice to be able to create your own schedule and not have to go by like what like your boss wants you to do or something. But honestly, like, and I, I don't think I'm the only one who feels this way, but I don't really hear people talking about it a lot. So I wonder, um, if maybe I'm in the minority or something, but the pressure, I don't know if pressure is the right word, but the freedom <laughs> of being able to create my own schedule is actually sort of stressful because it's like, I don't know, there's so much freedom. <laughs> I'm like, I could really do whatever I want. Um, and without like a little bit of a guideline, it sort of feels overwhelming sometimes. Like I, I'm like, oh, is this the right time? Like there's so many pros and cons to like everything you choose that it's I don't know it's it's a harder decision to make than it seems like it would be but at the same time I'm thankful that I have the option to make it like I'm not I'm not complaining please understand that like I would much rather be able to make my own schedule than like have to follow somebody else's but but yeah it's just a lot of decision making Let's see if we have any Nook Miles stuff. I don't think I do, but I like to check. Oh, you know what? Let's see if there's anything we might want to get for Vivian's house. We won't get it in the mail until tomorrow, but I still just want to see maybe some decorative items that might be good for her. I do like these. I have some of these already. Ooh, that's cute. Have those. I have these two. I have those. So yeah, it looks like I might actually have quite a few items to work with already that I've already ordered that are kind of just waiting in my inventory. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this item. Ooh, this looks very Vivian. That That's an option. I'm not going to order it just yet because I'm not sure if we're going to have room. But if we do, or I might make room for that, honestly. I wonder if we can put um, if we can put this inside the house or if it's only an outdoor item because I think this would be cute inside her house like in a corner or like behind her bed or something like a weird type of canopy I don't know I just think like some somehow the like pattern on this reminds me of Vivian it just feels very Vivian to me but it's such a large item, I'm just not sure if I want to make room for it. We'll see. You love the lighthouse? Yeah, do you need one? I can get you one if you want one. If you don't have one. I think, yeah, I think I have the white one. It's a good one. Okay, I have all the prom stuff. Let's see, 
what's in here. Oh, it's Wolfgang right on the front. I love this. I got Michael's turn up, so now on to Stephanie. Gotcha, good work. I actually never checked my lighthouse color. I need to do that. Yeah, I honestly, I'm not sure if it matters that much anymore. Don't quote me on this because I actually, I don't know if this is true. I have to actually try it because it's been a long time since I've played this game. Um, like in particular, like certain aspects of the game, I should say like, um, but I think now that we have Tortimer, on, um, oh, Shiloh's online. Um, now that we have Tortimer I, on Harps Island, I think, again, don't quote me. I have to check because it's been a long time since I've tried this, but I think you can um, go to Tortimer and I think they change the um, colors and stuff for you on your items, I think. Um, or it, it might be Reese and Cyrus, I'm not sure, but. That might be an option. I wish my gorilla statue could go in the water and I could have him coming up near the lighthouse. That would be pretty cool. Your Godzilla one or whatever it's called, the monstrous statue or something. That would be really cool. Yeah, I'll have to check on it too. I don't know if it's true. Um, I don't know if Tortimer like gets you stuff from your inventory and stuff, I think, or whatever, but I, I thought there was a way now to um, change the color of your Nook Mile items. I could be wrong. Um, so there are a few things that I need for, for Vivian's build. Um, and actually, there are a few things that I'm, I'm hoping for. Um, if anybody, no pressure, no pressure. Um, you know, I'm more than willing to be patient, um, but if anybody's bored and they would like to bring me some antique furniture, specifically this color, um, I would really like the antique furniture set. Um, I could just catalog it, you know, um, and then I could order it myself. You don't have to like give me your items, but if, if anyone has an antique furniture set that they're willing to let me catalog, or, you know, if you have an extra that you're, I could buy it off you. Um, I'm looking for the antique furniture set and some green mums. Um, if anyone has any extra. Okay, I think we can order one more item. Gotcha, Ray, thank you. I have the antique radio, so I don't need that, but I appreciate you looking, I really do. Okay, I think that was five items. Okay. Oh wait, that's way too much. I already have so much in my pockets. Let's do this. That's more than enough. <laughs> you have a singular green mum. I can water it and get more and send it to you. Please, Stephanie, that'd be helpful. Yeah, I'm I'm more than happy to be patient about it, and I'm more than happy to um compensate as well because i know those are not like an original flower they're definitely a, a hybrid oh 
Oh, you'll get your bells back when you sell the turnips. I know it's hard. <clears throat> You're funny. Just watered it. I love that. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this in my... Actually, let's run to the museum real quick. KK is grooving. I really need to start working on this more. But um, I'm excited to do Vivian's house. I don't know why. Um, There's so many things I could terraform, but I just really want to start there today. Poke a catch for anyone who's interested. No rush just means more cozy streams. True, it's gonna take us a while to finish Moon Cove. Thank you, Blathers. Forgot I could make a silo and now I need to get materials so I have it next to my community garden. Ooh, that would be really cute actually next to your garden. Let me know if you need any materials. I could probably send you some. I saved up a lot of stuff already. You know how I am. I just save stuff up. It's fun. I like doing that part. Just collecting things so that when we need them, they're there. It's like the opposite of what I do in real life. Well, that's not true. I think I keep keep some you know useful things but yeah i tend to like be more minimal um so i really get to use my games to sort of like just save stuff up and you know scratch that itch i guess you don't go out in real life and chop trees and hit rocks with shovels i mean sometimes <laughs> Thank you, Blathers, or, um, Brewster. Okay. I am dilly-dallying. Okay, so let's put this, um, butterfly away. And then I'm gonna go get my turnips so that we can start terraforming. I'm taking a long time getting ready here. What else is new? <clears throat> Actually, I can put my the butterfly right here. Those are just some of the things I'm gonna use when I make my little outdoor area. 
area for blathers. So that's why they're just kind of placed there and I haven't um, sold them. I'm going to use them to decorate with at some point. Wolfgang and Sherry! Coco again! Nice! Coco and Sherry! Nice! Good job, Stephanie! I'm so happy for you! It's gonna be such a good haul! Um, is Sherry going to try to move out soon, or do they just say that sometimes? Oh, that's really good. Is that your last one? Both of those silo color ways are really nice. Oh, I'm so glad it's your last one in the home stretch. So my turnips are um, 94 bells each today. Does anyone have better prices? Or worse, if you have worse prices, come here. Bye. Oh, can I come over? Can I buy turnips there? You can say no. You can absolutely say no. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I just, I'm, that's a little, uh, it's quite a bit better. I know it's only four bells, but it adds up. Thank you, Daisy May. I appreciate the offer. Appreciate you so much. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I should um, empty. You know, I might. I'm just going to empty. I'm going to leave my tools here so I have more room in my pockets. I can get more turnips. going to like the farmer's market stuff just having like a little bag it's so cute and fun Gotcha. 
gotcha. <clears throat> to place your silo good oh i'm so excited i hope i get to see it then <clears throat> i bet it's gonna look so nice your community garden's also like already so cute so i think the silo is just gonna make it look so much better What is everybody doing today? Any plans you want to share with the rest of the community? I'd love to know if, if you'd like to share. That's true, right? You did a lot yesterday, too. <laughs> Sundays are for relaxing. So cute going to buy my turnips. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Birthday cake. That's gonna be so much fun i hope it's so good Oh, it's raining here. I don't have an umbrella. Oh, I don't know where Daisy May is, though. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, and this flower, Ray. Chef's kiss. That's cute. I love that. That's so good. Oh! <laughs> Headbutt. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I'll go check them out. See how much pocket space I have. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope, not shopping. Unless, um, if I find something I really, really want, I'll just drop some turnips. Oh, Shino's umbrella is so cute. I love this umbrella for her. 
Oh my goodness. I suppose it would. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my gosh, I still love this so much. This is so cute. for anyone who's interested in a stuffle. It's cute. It's like a little pink panda bear. Or a red panda, maybe. I'm not sure. But it's cute. I love that Pokemon. Oh, these are cute. Okay, so I might come back and get some of these. No one caught him. Aw. That's okay, Stuffle. Go live your life. <gasps> oh. Oh. You're precious. Do I even have enough money for this, though? If Even if I made pocket room. I'll tell you what, if somebody made an Elder Cernuck plushie IRL, I would definitely buy that immediately. Animal Crossing is definitely real life, of course. Thank you. Did you want to do group stretching? It's up to you. <laughs> yes, 
Stephanie. Yeah, let's wait for Stephanie. Real quick, all right, gotcha. Oh, KK, you can't say that on live TV. Okay, Ray, are you still making tea? Don't look. Don't look. Okay, hold on. Actually, I... I want this to be a surprise, so, like, I'm sorry, y'all, but, like, we're gonna have to... I'm here. I'm here, okay? But I'm just gonna cover this up so that Ray can have a surprise message. Sorry, it's gonna take me a minute to type this out, but this is so cool. I didn't know that you could do this with KK, and I'm so excited. I kind of hope, like, he doesn't know either. Like, if he's still making tea and, like, doesn't see this, he's gonna be so surprised. It's gonna be cute. KK was like, oh yeah, let's just talk about this private thing on like live, you know, stream. It's all good. Almost done. Sorry, everyone. I know. for Stephanie love it it's one of my favorites it's so good have you you've had it yeah we've talked about this it's so good Thank you. 
Like it's not like we, you know, we could at least just try it. And if you get the credit, you know, it's worth it. And also it's just fun. I'm, I like to see Michael's outfits and stuff. <laughs> oh, I love your dancing. Ooh. Why are you booping me? What did I miss? Or is it just for fun? I don't know if I have like dancing. Um, I don't have the pave emotes yet. This could work though. <laughs> For funsies, okay. The hey listen is the only one to get your attention now. Gotcha. Okay.
the catch. Nice. Everyone's in. Anybody else in in chat who wants to do poke catch? No, Michael's on the way. Seeing everybody's like passport and bow, it's so cute. like my favorite. So adorable. It's a really good birthday outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. stretching with us that's so cute i'm so excited and kk we have a good group today poppy oh my goodness shep one of the nook twins this is so cute what a good group even though it's raining it's fine Prince, though, like in the puddles, that's the that's a really cute effect. Exercising with her sinus infection, like in the rain. But okay. I trust her to know her body's boundaries, though, and her limits. But personally, I would not be doing it.
Good job, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to go terraform for a bit. Okay. I'm leaving a, uh, some turnips, Ray, by your nook store because I, I want to take the, uh, the bear home. So you can have those if you'd like to sell them. Yeah, thank you. The bear is just so cute. I don't want to pass it up. Give it to Stephanie so they can pay off Michael's house. It's a good idea, too. Should be right in front of the nook store on the pathway. Yeah. Okay, I want to check something real quick before I start terraforming. Um, I want to check something about... These ads real quick. Um, if anyone is getting stuck in ads, let me know. I want to try, like, taking a break, like, during the ads, but I'm not sure. I, st I, I apologize. I haven't looked into it yet, but I know I need to sort of, like, figure out how to find that on Twitch. Okay. It might be here under a monetization. Hold on. Okay, so it looks like ads might be coming up. Sorry, I, this is probably something I definitely should have done off stream, but now that I just thought about it, I, I kind of want to fix it for this stream if we can. Uh, so 
So it looks like I have it set up to where it should let me know now uh, when the ads are coming up. But if I miss it or if it's not working, um, please let me know if anyone hits an ad break. I really want to try to make the stream better for people and I don't want people to feel like they have to miss out on content because or like go back and rewatch it later because um, they're stuck in ads. I'd like to take a break during ads so yeah just kind of let me know if I miss it um, but we'll just we'll play around with this today and we'll see what we can do and um, if it doesn't go well I always I can talk to some of my other streamer friends and um, do a google search and stuff for some tips but Alright, so let's get these turnips put away. And we'll get our pockets ready for terraforming and we'll get a terraforming outfit on and we'll be ready to go. Tea, that sounds good. Is it the green tea, the green mango? I can't think of what other mango one we have. Good morning, Elena. How are you? <laughs> oh, my new favorite emote combo. White mocha macchiato for Elena. Delicious. Happy Sunday, friend. How are you? It's good to see you. Thank you for being here. We're going to be terraforming um, a yard for Vivian today. I have no idea what I'm going to do um, in terms of if I want to put her on, like, the first tier or the second tier, but I'm going to terraform and just kind of see what happens. We'll figure it out. And then um, if there's enough time after that, um, probably play some more Happy Home Paradise today. But my first priority is to get ter uh, get Vivian's yard terraformed. Probably decorate it a little bit too. To today, Elena. Anything fun going on? Any good self care plans for the day? myself but I, I'm totally inviting myself so like I understand that like that's kind of a weird and rude thing to do so like no pressure but yeah I would love to play later if everyone's getting on okay what do we want to wear for terraforming oh you know I think I might wear overalls instead of like full outfit let's see maybe the green one Blue or gray? Let's try these ones. I 
and I'll probably wear socks and boots. fun the other day. I'm glad, so did I. That was a really fun Cernuck hunting and the, the chaotic cake party. That was fun, too. Okay, so I actually just, um, I was just talking about this before you came in. I, I'm trying to figure out the ad situation. I do apologize. I haven't taken time out to do it yet, um, and I just remembered. Um, but yeah, I was, I'm trying to, um, I, I'm, I'm going to learn. So if, if we don't figure it out today, I'll do my best to figure it out over the next week or so. Um, but I'm trying to get, uh, to figure out how to and I'm not asking for answers like if anyone wants to give me info that's fine but don't feel obligated I can I'm more than capable of figuring this out and you know asking for help if I need it and stuff um I just haven't put the time in yet uh, but I want to try to get it to where I can overlap our ad breaks with our self-care breaks so that nobody has to like feel they have to subscribe I don't want them like missing content or feeling like they have to like rewatch um because of an ad break so I'm gonna work on that. Um, but yeah, Elena, I was just saying, like I had a lot of fun the other day too, and I'm glad that we were able to play together. right now because I, I just don't want to hear the waterfalls in my ears at the moment. Just need a second. Yeah, I can, it can be scheduled for every hour and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to look into it. I promise. I just, I, I forgot. I didn't take the time to do it, but it is something that's important to me and I will, I will prioritize that very soon. You can delay an ad break from the streamer dashboard on top of being able to change the duration and timing. Perfect, gotcha. Yeah, I see some settings here. I just need to to go through and look and everything. And I, I yeah, I just, I need to make time to do it. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is put that on my list for this week. So that I don't forget again. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I started Twitch just for fun. I didn't really think I would ever be to the point where I was, you know, partnered or affiliate. So I'm going to be learning things as I go. I think I'm going to change my bow. The, the color of my bow here. Even though we're going to be wearing a hat, so we won't see it anyway. Because, yeah, once we start construction, they're going to put the hat on us. Good morning. Welcome in. How are you today? If you'd like, feel free to redeem your daily latte, tea, or macchiato in the channel points. It's a little stream check-in. I don't think you've uh, been here yet since we've done it. How are you, friend? I hope you and Erin are having a good weekend so far. work on terraforming this area to make a yard for Vivian. Ooh, you're playing Stardew? That's so fun. I love that. Alright, so I have no plan. Uh, I think I'm just gonna start making some mountains with waterfalls and we'll we'll go from there. So I do, I like this uh, bridge area. I'm gonna leave this. I like how this turned out. And then I'm gonna probably just decorate. I don't think I'm gonna do a ton of terraforming here. I'll probably just decorate that. But yeah, I think we definitely need more. Waterfalls. Oh, you know what I need to do? I'm going to move these cherry trees. That'll give us some more space to play around with here. Favorite game? Yeah, Stardew is definitely a favorite. I know a lot of people really love Stardew. Has anyone um, seen any updates lately on on the pronoun situation for Stardew? I still haven't played the new update. Oh, The Sims, yeah. The most recent one is just too expensive. I can understand that. Because there's so many items I want to buy, but 
It's like one of those situations where I want to try to earn the Moonstones in-game as much as possible. And my Dream Snaps are just not performing as well as they used to, so... It's been a struggle. Okay, let's terraform. Oh, thank you for the gifted sub, Stephanie. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. I love that, you know, it helps everyone feel more included. We don't have to worry about ads, and you can have access to all the rest of the emotes. I love it so much. Yeah, let's get some hearts and hype in the chat for that one. Thank you for being <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for the two months. Let's get some hearts and hype in the chat for Chris, too. Oh, I love this. You guys are great. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, no ads. No ads at all. I will get... I will work on that, though, because as much as I appreciate you guys subbing and I love it, that you get the extra modes and stuff, I don't want anyone to ever feel like they have to. Um... So yeah, I wanna, I do wanna fix the ad situation very, very, very soon. That's my goal, is to have it fixed before next Sunday. Hopefully sooner, especially if I, you know, probably do like a, uh, some crafting or paleo this week. So hopefully I can get it done sooner. But my, my more realistic goal is my, uh, yeah, I wanna get it done by next Sunday for sure. How are things going? Yeah, I'll probably have it done sooner. I just, you know, I don't want to promise because sometimes I get, um, you know, tired and I need a little extra rest. So I want to, I give myself extra time. But it will most likely be done much sooner, yeah. No, I hate when that happens. Oh, I'm glad you got to sleep in a little bit then, but yeah, I'm sorry you're feeling tired today. That stinks. I think um, you are resting a lot today, right? Like you're gonna rest and then go to the birthday party. So hopefully you can, you know, feel a little bit better. Just relax a bit more today. I didn't sleep very well either. Like, everything's fine. Um, I didn't wake up or anything. It's just that I stayed up too late. <laughs> it usually happens when I try to go to bed at a decent time. <laughs> That's funny. It makes sense. I just, like I said, I haven't taken the time yet. I just haven't done it. I haven't prioritized it. So I'll let you guys know if I need help. But I think I can probably just figure it out once I sit down and try to do it. down here or do I want to do like a community area down here Ooh, like a community garden would be cute like something like Ray made like a community garden area would be cute down here and then I get to put strawberries on the beach because if you put the um, 
what do you call it? The pansies, the red pansies. Oh, polka catch. Hold on, I missed it. Let me get that before it times out. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, what I was thinking is I could do like a community garden here and put the red pansies on the beach because they won't grow. Like you, you pick them and you let them grow to where there's just like a little bit of red, like it's a bud and it looks like strawberry bushes. <laughs> so I might do like a strawberry patch here and then like a community garden. And then I could put some sort of incline going up to the neighborhood and I could do a neighborhood up here. What do you think of that idea? I don't know. The other option is to put Vivian's house like down here on this floor or on this tier and just have a lot of waterfalls behind it. But I kind of like the idea of like a community garden and then kind of like a second tier neighborhood. You like the idea too? Yeah, I think that let's try it. We can always change it, but yeah, I think it would be fun. Sounds like a place I would live. Oh my goodness. I would love to be able to create an island to just go live on it. Let's see. So then I'm not going to build these cliffs up right here. I think I'm just going to build the cliffs in this area. So I think the first thing I want to figure out here is where I want to put this incline. I want it to wind a little bit, so I don't want to put it right here. Or do I? Hmm, what's more fun to walk around? Let's see, so... It's a little boring, but... If we go like this... Like, that's more fun. That's more fun. I like that. You can... I like that better. That feels more fun. Let's put the incline around this area. Or what if we did it like sideways? I like that idea. And then I can make the mountains here like I wanted and just make this all flooded. Oh, we're doing it. I have no, okay. I just got a vision in my head to make like a huge pond area here. Because um, one of the biggest issues I have when I terraform sometimes is I like to put all these really big mountains and cliffs and like a whole bunch of waterfalls. And then it's like weird when you're walking right up next to it, like, or right behind it. So I think if I flood all of this, I can keep the neighborhood separate enough to where I can still have my mountains and it, they won't be like in the way. And then I can flood behind it as well. And then we can sort of like have the neighborhood up here. Um, so you kind of like walk up this way and then you can come back down this way and it'll be like another flooded sort of sunken area and we can, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna go there, <laughs> but. Second tier neighborhoods are always fun. Okay, yeah, let's try it, I'm excited. All right, let's try it. I don't know uh, how it's gonna turn out, but that's kind of the uh, thing I'm imagining. So let's let's give this a go. So let's do, okay, so I want, I could actually still do a community garden and because the island naturally came with this, I could just extend this for the neighbor. Oh, or, or hold on, hear me out because I love this. Like this could be a really good spot for like a market, like a farmer's market. And then when we do the neighborhood up on that second tier, we'll extend it out this way and then we'll come down and do like a sunken flea market. So it's like, you'll have like the neighborhood and then like the outskirts of the neighborhood will be like a really cozy farmer's market on one side and then like a really cozy flea market on the other side and then you know, as you keep going away from the neighborhood, you'll get into more like the museum area and then like the shopping district with like Able Sisters and Nook Store and stuff like that. I think that would be really fun. It's a good flow, but it's still gonna give me so much space that I can like add on to it and move things around if I want to like seasonally. So like maybe in the, in the winter we could do, change the flea market into like a Christmas market or something. That'd be so much fun. Okay. 
So that's what we're gonna do then. So I, actually here, I'm gonna sink. I'm gonna start sinking it right here. I think. Oh my gosh, so like, because of this idea now that I have, I don't know if we're gonna have time for Happy Home Paradise. This might take a while. <laughs> this might take longer than I thought because now I'm not only doing Vivian's yard, but like this whole little area, so. Chris, I'm sorry I blanked. Can you repeat that whole thing? <laughs> God. <laughs> I feel like you're being sarcastic, but I'm also sort of like, wait a minute, like, is he serious? <laughs> I love it. Sorry, my brain sometimes, I, I'm, not the great, I'm not the greatest communicator. I just, I don't know. I hope it made sense, but yeah. I'm also knowing Chris, like you're probably just messing with me. <laughs> but also I completely understand if none of that made sense. <laughs> I love it. You guys are the greatest friends. We have such a good friend group. I'm glad like Elena and, and Shiloh and stuff are coming in too because like I think they fit in so well and uh, I'm really looking forward to like getting to know everyone else um, that we meet through streaming too because it's just it's just nice I love uh, talking to people that have an interest in similar things you know and it's, it's been kind of hard to uh, socialize the same way that I used to like when I was in college I felt like I was much more socially active so um, I'm really glad that we have streaming because it helps it's like a, at this phase of my life streaming is really supportive all right so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it um, so I think if I sink this area trying to decide how I want the walkway, or not the walkway, the uh, incline to be. So I'm gonna sink all of this. And then do I wanna hop through a sink, sunken area up to the incline? Yeah. I think that's what I wanna do. And then I'll just leave like some space open so that you can also get to it without hopping just in case the villagers wanna use that walkway as well. Okay, so the only issue is, like, Vivian's house is in the way. So, I really didn't want to move it until I finished terraforming her yard, but I might have to. Uh, let's just start sinking and we'll see. See what happens. I don't know. I don't know. This could be a disaster. But it could also not be, so let's just, let's just hope for the best. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Oh my gosh, okay. a little pond here so if we do a pond here and like some more waterfalls then we can either hop here or walk this way if you don't feel like hopping and we'll do a little hopping area here as well Okay, here we go. Um, then the incline, I think, would be... I think this would be a good spot for it. Maybe somewhere around here. And then I can make all of this, like, a sunken area. I think that's good. Maybe I won't extend this neighborhood. Maybe I will leave it like this. Hold on, let me look at the map. See how much room we have. Oh, that's, a, that's actually a really long strip of, like, a second tier of land that could work and maybe the land where my nook store is like that second tier I might connect it to I might bring it around that little hopping area and like connect it to the land we were just terraforming I'm not sure oh my goodness there's so many options okay let's just start let me just start with the with the stairs. We'll go from there. Let's start with the stairs. So 
so that I can get Vivian's house moved and then we'll terraform the, the water. I think that's a good plan. Good community and still growing. Yeah, yeah. We definitely need to grow. We're still pretty small, but I honestly like that because it gives me more time to focus on the people like as they come in. Like I kind of get to know them a bit more instead of like trying to get to know a whole bunch of people all at once, you know? I feel like it's really helpful uh, to have that sort of intimate, intimate community in the beginning, you know? And I kind of hope even if we grow, like, I don't know. I just hope it kind of stays intimate, honestly. And I feel like the content like I'm making is pretty lurker friendly too. So I think that's a good, good way to sort of like, we can keep like chat really intimate and, you know, really check in with people and discord and everything. Um, but then if people just want to lurk, like they can kind of have boundaries that way and just kind of lurk too, you know? I think we're doing a pretty good job making it supportive for, for different, you know, needs, different things people want. Yeah, it's cozy content. Because <laughs> that's something I really like when I go to streams. Like, I really like to feel like, like, oh, people remember me, but also like, we're just hanging out, you know, there's, there's not really a lot of pressure. It's just fun, you know, kind of supporting each other and just trying to make, you know, make everyone's day a little bit better if we can. <laughs> Let's talk infrastructure. Oh, I don't, I don't have any, I have any bells on me, but good thing is uh, we're just doing an incline, so we don't have to pay up front. Okay, so I'm thinking either the natural ramp or the log staircase. Oh, I love this too. I'm gonna do this on my other island though. I'm gonna do like the stone bridge and the stone staircase on the other island. So I think I'm gonna do, I do wanna use these somewhere on the island, but I'm not sure if I wanna use it for the neighborhood. I think it would be kind of cute because we're doing like a community garden in that area, but you know what? Yeah, we're going to go with the natural ramp. If we decide we don't like it, we'll just change it. It's expensive, but good thing I'm married to like the best turn up dealer on the island. It looks so weird right now. It's gonna be cute when it's done though. It's gonna be cute when it's done. I hope, I don't know. I'm starting to try to dabble in outfit design and um, it's a skill, <laughs> it's a skill. Okay, so how much space do I want for my garden? You're the dealer, yes, yes, Ray, I was talking about you. <laughs> 
the best turnip dealer in game. Poke a catch for anyone who wants to play. All right, so, oh, what if I did a ramp right here? No, I really want this to be a waterfall, but I could extend it, make a waterfall and a ramp. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm indecisive right now. I just need some time to like figure out. I want to look at a bigger version of the map. Hold on. Okay. So I feel like that space is perfect for the community garden. Like that fits. I don't think I'm going to need a larger space and I don't want to make it too much smaller. So I guess what I'm I might just work with the river that's already there a little bit. You know what? Let's just, we're just going to do it. I'm, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But you know what? That is part of the fun. I'm just going to do my best. And if we don't like it, we'll redo it. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. But I have faith that I think this is going to turn out pretty well. Oh. Because if I stay here and like, don't make a decision, I'm just, it's not going to, it's not going to go anywhere. So let's just, let's just go. Let's just try it. I feel ready. I just have to approach this with playfulness and curiosity. Sorry, I'm like over here, I give myself a pep talk because I'm a little bit anxious. Like, oh, what if it doesn't turn out nice? You know what, then then it doesn't. Then we redo it, it's okay. We're, we're having fun. And I just want to try to play a little bit without pressure. Oh, my game froze. Okay, there we go. It's gonna be great. Thank you. I hope so. If not, then yeah, you know, we'll work with it, but I'm just, I'm trying something very different than what I've ever done. So it's like, you know, there's always a little bit of uncertainty with that. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I love that. That's good. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Hold on, though. Do I want to push it back one more? I might push it back one more. Let me see how that looks. Oh, and hold on. Is that what I want to do? Let me see. Hold on. Wait. About this for a second. I think this will be okay. Let me just see what it looks like. Ooh, have a good lunch. I'll see you soon. You're doing great, Chris Jenner, sweetie. Or you're doing great, sweetie, Chris Jenner. I love that. Thanks, Elena. <laughs> I love that emote. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got this. Nice. Daisy. Okay. I'm happy with this. I think that's gonna be really fun. I really like like running around like all willy-nilly like this. So I don't really um I can appreciate islands that are very, like, straight, you know, nice paths, but I, I just, when it comes to mind, I just want to, like, run around like this all the time, so <laughs> um, that's why all my padding is sort of crooked and off-center and windy. It's just fun. I like it. All right.
right, so let's do, I think I'm gonna sink all of this area so that you can't like get through here, but you have to go up into the village in order to get down into the flea market over here. I think that'll be good. And then I can probably do like a little bridge to the flea market. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so cute. Okay. The foxes are so cute, I know. Oh, that emote is so adorable. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, it does look like a chapa a little bit. I wanna show you something. Um, where did I put them? Hold on. Ah, uh, there they are. I will be right back. Elena, I have something to show you. I think you'll like it. from a vintage, um, like an antique mall. And I bought them because they look like little kitsus. They are so cute. So here's one. I hope you can see it okay. Little kitsu. And then I have this other one. cute. I'll have to post a picture too so that they're like, you can see them a bit better, but I love them so much. They're so cute. He's got like the cute little chubby cheeks. Oh my goodness. It's like furry. Oh, so adorable. Yeah, they are so cute. It was a really good find. See, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope it made your made you smile, made your day a little bit better. I know they make my day better. They're so adorable. Bless you, Daisy May. All right, so let's see. Where to put Vivian's house? I think what I'm gonna do is create a sort of somewhat sunken area in the neighborhood too. So I think I'm gonna put a bridge up here as well. anybody would like some music at some point because once I get in the zone here and start creating I'm I'm probably gonna talk a bit less um, I just can't help it I my brain just gets really into the zone and sometimes I just don't say much thank you for being Welcome in, Taylor. Or Lopez, gotcha. Thank you, Lopez. <laughs> or Ty Lopez. What should I call you? Let me know. Um, also, if you have any uh, pronouns, we're more than happy to respect those as well. Nice to meet you. Welcome in, friend. Um, 
Um, today we're just doing some cozy Animal Crossing terraforming and um, trying to create like a little neighborhood here and find a place to put Vivian's house. Ty is fine. He him. Gotcha. Nice to meet you, Ty. I'm Amber. I use she, her pronouns. Um, and if anyone else in the chat would like to share their name and pronouns, feel free. Let's do a little um, introduction and pronoun party if, if you'd like to. No pressure either way. self-care activities going on today. Hey, okay, let's see. You're playing Animal Crossing too? Ooh. What are you working on? Do you have a, like an island theme or anything? What's your favorite thing to do? Do you like to decorate, terraform, build relationships with villagers? I'll do one more layer here and then add some waterfalls. Ooh, trying to complete your Critterpedia. I love that. mine yet ever on any island so that's super exciting i hope you're able to do it soon three sea creatures left you are almost done that's amazing good work ty okay so i don't have any idea how this is gonna look but Let's just, let's just keep going and we'll figure it out. Cause I think I wanna stop making the cliff here and then start building like the sinking area, the sunken area. But I wanna do this first, make sure I have enough waterfall action going on here. Actually, you know what we could do as well? I'd have to figure out how to get a ramp going up this way, but I could put Vivian's house on a third tier. Still put the neighborhood over there. Community garden this way. Flea market this way. So maybe I could put a ramp going from like the flea market up this way, but that's that might be confusing for some people, like not being able to get there from the front. But I like that idea. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm not even close. Me neither. I've, you know, there's so much to do in this game. I feel like, um, I played for so many years and still have things to do. And that's what I love about it. There's a lot of replayability, too. Okay, let's see. somewhere as like a shortcut maybe that could work actually 
actually. Hold on. I don't want to go that far. This is perfect, and I'm going to make, make a little river here. Only two more. Oh my goodness. Keep going. Let's go. You've got this. Oh yeah, poke a catch. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. good. All right, so I think this is what I put it. Ah, uh, this looks a little odd, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, I liked it better the other way. Waterfall here. Hold on. I might extend this a little bit more. Give me a second. Ah, I hope you get that too. I think you can do it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, um, I didn't even say what I was going to do yet. Sorry. In my head, I was thinking about it, so... Um, but I'm gonna do like a river here or like a waterfall here and then a small river. Um, I think that's gonna help sort of bring this together a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Do I want one over here? I'm not sure yet. Vivian's gonna have like her own little yard up here, I think. I see how this looks walking this way. I think it's kind of cute, I guess. I don't know. I I really like the three tier balls, but. I don't want Vivian's house to be too high up there. But also put it in between. Or I could make that sunken. Oh, that's what I'm doing. That's what we're doing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. So Vivian's house can go up here, and then I'm gonna sink all of this. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is why terraforming takes so long, because I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I just, I don't know. I always change it. It's okay, though. It's fine. Whoops. Okay, so I'm not sure if I, I might make this a little bit make this wider. Yeah, it is fun. I do enjoy it. It just takes a while. I'm sure I could probably do this faster if I didn't make it so experimental, but I like to try new things because I like to see what happens. Some of my best builds were just like randomly trying stuff to figure out what would happen, and I actually really ended up liking it. There's definitely been a lot of stuff I didn't like, but it's fine. It's fine. You just redo it. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Or it grows on you. Sometimes I make stuff that I don't really like, and then it grows on me, and then I like it in like a week, so. If I make something I don't like right away, I just leave it for a while and 
sometimes my feelings change, and if they don't, then I'll eventually just take it down or work on it some more. No big deal. this off anyway so my little like area here so yeah I guess the question is how large do I want I think, I think I'll do one more layer like the sunken area on this side, I'm gonna move Vivian's house, or you know, like put her plot down. And then I'm gonna take a like 15 minute break, a 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute break so I can get some food. And just sort of like go stretch and stuff a bit. Actually, okay, hold on. Wait, I just got another idea. Let me see if this works. This might not work, but I want to try it. here so what if I did this I also I just it's easy to fit here I just I try to also I don't like things to be too squared so um, just give me a second here to figure this out so then I'm gonna put a ball here This should be fine. Not sure if you'll be able to see that sign very well, but let's just, let's just see what happens. Okay, so this will fit, perfect. All right, I think this is gonna work. This will work. Okay. so that what trees do I have? I have a hardwood tree that could work. All right, let's do that. Okay, and then this is gonna be all 
water. to the tree actually um let me see what i can do i really want the tree there but i could move it up here as well oh decisions decisions okay let's do this this way. Probably, probably right here. Yep, that's good. And then I can sink it down here. So I think, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is add a couple more layers of cliff here. Oh, okay. So, hmm. bigger view of this um okay so i think that is definitely large enough
Ray, this is a Pokemon you actually like. here, but I want this to stay. Oops. or something so that it's like not you know we'll see terraforming. Sorry, my eye is itchy. Um, so I'm, I'm still just trying to figure out where to put Vivian's house. Uh, oh, I don't know if I have this butterfly yet. So I'm just kind of like flooding everything. And then, I don't know, I'm just sort of seeing what happens. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. Do I want to shorten this? I know that it's just stunted it, but um, let me just, okay. Let me just look. This is going to be a waterfall. So 
I think what I want to do is make this a little more curved. So I'm gonna need to make this larger. Oh, I'm at I'm at room for that. I don't know. to extend this a bit more and make this work. Okay. We're not gonna, I'm not committing to that right now because I don't know if I'm willing to get rid of my waterfalls here, so. I guess the question is, do I actually want Vivian's house up on this cliff or in the neighborhood? work on this a bit. We'll see where it goes. Okay. green tree here. put Vivian's house over here.
closest I can that might be the closest I can get to this tree, so I'm gonna do I could do one here, but do I want to do that or not? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm gonna leave it open here. That's not what I wanted. Hold on, wrong way. That's actually the opposite of what I'm trying to... Oh, wait a minute, though, but that could work. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're gonna work with this. That's what I can do. With that space, I can round this out. Perfect. Okay. Oh, but this needs to be fixed now. Hold on. Wait, does it though? Because I'm gonna do... Yeah, I think it does. There we go. That looks good. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... We'll figure it out as we go. But I'm happy with how it's coming along. Okay, this is good. Oh no, I'm struggling. I can't get up the cliff. Ah. All right, um. Whoops. Okay, let's see if my plan will work here. love this little part here, but I really like the waterfall, so I could either extend the bottom out a bit more. That's probably going to be the best option. I'll probably do that. We'll see. It's not that important, but it's just this little side note that might, that might bother me after a while. Okay, this is looking good. Then we'll go this way. Perfect, we got this, okay. And then, I don't think this is gonna work here, but okay, so I'll have to figure this something out there. This is good so far. I think I'm gonna put Vivian's house right here. Um, hold on though, I just got another idea. Um, Hold on, let me think about this for a second, though. Oh, we've got a polka catch coming up. Y'all, I think I need a break. So, I'm gonna take... I know I said I was gonna finish Vivian's house and then take a break, but I think I need one now. Um, so I think, 
1237. Let's just plan on, I'm gonna plan on coming back at 1250. Um, that gives me a little under 15 minutes. That way I can get some food and just, I need to walk around, I think. Um, and I just wanna take a little bit of a mental break from this right now because I have a few ideas floating around and I'm not sure which one I wanna follow right now. So I just, I just wanna take a few minutes, think about it and, and then I'll get back to it. But I'm really happy everyone's here today. Um, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Hopefully um, just, you know, playing along with me or just enjoying the vibes, whatever you're doing and uh, maybe getting some terraforming ideas for your own island. Who knows, <laughs> but I am having fun. But yeah, I just want to take a little bit of a break and then I'll be back to see you soon. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to redeem your daily latte, macchiato or tea or one of each if you'd prefer that too, that's fine. Little stream check-in, I'll see you soon.
cozy friends, I'm back. I hope everyone had a good break. I hope you also got some water, maybe a snack. Walked around a little bit, maybe took a stretch. If not, now is still a good time. <laughs> Just take care of yourselves, please. There's also Pokemon for Pokecatch if anyone's interested. And uh, I've got some background music, but I know that the waterfalls are kind of a lot. So let me know if you want either the game sound turned off or the music turned off or, you know, let me know how that's all going right now. Um, I like the music, but I also, like, don't need it. So just let me know what you guys prefer. I'm flexible with that. I don't know if it's a bit much with the game music as well. she has in her house. I feel like it's something she might enjoy doing. So I guess the question is, do I want to keep this little lip here or do I want to move it? I don't love it. enjoyed how this this walkway looked so hold on maybe I'll do this okay this could work
the waterfall peeking out a bit. decision. No, actually, I think I'm gonna put a bush back here. So that, like, stuff doesn't get stuck. Oh, hold on, wait. There we go, that's better. stuff won't get stuck back there, like balloons and whatnot. Okay, let's do... I'll do the trees after. Let's do the waterscaping first. So the question is, do I want... I think this would be better. This is a better spot to start my river. excited to see how this turns out. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so cute. I hope. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move some of these homes as well so that I have enough space here to finish this, but I like where it's going so far. I'm gonna bring this um, river all around and then, okay, so how much room do I need for my garden? This should be plenty. As long as I don't go too far in front of these homes with my river, I should have plenty of space for the garden. And if not, I'll just do two gardens around the island. It'll be fine. Okay, 
so Vivian is going to need a bridge um, because they don't hop over the the land places. So let me see where do I want to do a diagonal bridge? Do I want to do? It could be kind of interesting to put it like this way. I've never done that. Yeah, usually um, usually have them like this direction. So I'm kind of wondering if I should do the opposite. It's a little weirder to navigate, but I think it might be kind of fun. Ooh, and then I can put, I can put some of the garden in here too. That would be cute. The opposite way. Yeah, let's try the opposite way then. We're not gonna be able to finish it today, unfortunately, because we're gonna have to move these houses, but I think that's a good idea. That's what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm going to do, probably end up putting the bridge like diagonal this way. So the bridge will be like here. We can go to her house. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I guess the question is, how wide do I want to make? It's going to be tricky right now because these homes, but... Alright, we'll just finish this probably next week then. We'll just finish it next week when we're playing Animal Crossing. goes, but I think this is a good plan. I'll just have to move this river up a little bit more. probably change that out but I like it so far cool it looks good thank you thank you thank you okay we've made a decision progress
Poke Catch for a Skip Blue. in case anybody doesn't want to walk all the way around that we could still get to Vivian's house on this side as well and then the bridge will be here for the villagers cool I think that's good I really want to find a 
way to make this work without having to move my bridge or my mountains too much. I'm going to make a signpost. Okay, so I need hardwood and softwood.
Oh, it actually is a house. So yeah, I don't need to customize this. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could also make this part a garden too. Like this whole area could be a garden. And then we can come over the bridge more garden and then Vivian's house. That's going to be so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I love this. Okay. So now I just have to figure out, I'm going to have to terraform a little bit here so that I can actually get this little area decorated how I want. Oh no. Okay. That's fine. Let's do... bush back too, so I'm gonna have to... Okay. Or do I want the bush here and then the side here? Kind of like the side there so that people can sort of see where they're going. So I think it's good here. Okay. Yeah. Um, I had never thought to do the trick you mentioned to save to make strawberries. Yeah, I didn't come up with that. I saw it on someone else's island. I don't remember who, unfortunately. Because um, it was like a while ago. But yeah, it's a really cute way to make a strawberry patch. Um, They're just red pansies, so you can probably get them pretty easily, you know? Okay, how am I going to do this? Oh, this might not be possible. Oh, oh, here, I'll do it this way. This is what I'll do. There we go. Okay, right. we're good now. Okay, that looks good. So now we can easily fix this part. Oops. Are you gonna make a strawberry patch now? I hope so, I bet it'd be super cute if you did. That looks good. Okay, I'm happy with that. I really like that. Okay. Uh, what else then? Ooh, yeah, that'd be cute. I'm excited. I think I've been saving some red pansies. If not, I'm sure I can easily get them from the store. I think that was my native flower. Or no, wind flowers were my native flower on this one. Yeah, that'd be cute. The community garden. Ray made a really, really nice community garden. I'm really impressed. It's so cute. But yeah, I definitely want to make one. He kind of inspired me to do it. Um, I'm just so excited we got these crops finally. Like, they're so cute.
Okay, so... I was not doing this on purpose, but I could totally make this into... Like a boot or like Texas or something. I'm not going to though. I'm gonna make it wind around this way. And connect here. Or no, I'm not actually. Because I really want the villagers to be able to walk through this way too. So I think I might have a little strip of land here they can walk through, but then yeah, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna extend this like pond area here to connect here. So we can either hop, like I'm gonna make little hopping stones. Or if you don't want to hop, or if you can't, like if you're a villager, you can just walk this way. So I'll do it both. I think that'd be good. Both options. Okay, what now? Oh my goodness. Um, I can't do too much here until I move these houses, which I could move one, actually, because um, I bought Vivian's kit. Oh, well, maybe. Let me see. I bought the kit the other day, but because I didn't set it down until today. I'm not sure if Tom Nook will give me another one, but let's try it. I have to go get money anyway for the incline. trees and stuff to decorate Vivian's yard a little bit. Um, I know I can't finish it today, but I at least want to work on it a bit more because it's fun. Okay, let's do, and Vivian deserves the best. I want all my villagers to have really nice homes. Let's see, I'll take five. Do I want some of these? Maybe I'll just get a couple. Actually, no, because I'll just use my money trees once they fully grow. Is Piper walking around naked? <gasps> Maybe. I mean, she's a bird. She could be. Oh no, she's wearing a shirt. It's just, it's just very, um, hard to see because the lighting in the Nook store is so harsh. <laughs> um, it's really bright. So her, she's got the cream or the white um, tank top on, the sweater vest tank top thing. Just blends in with her body so well. Yeah, 
Yeah, as far as I know, KK is the only um, character that walks around without clothes. I could be wrong, but from what I remember, everyone else has at least like a shirt on, you know? KK is free, yes, yes, yes. did that because of yeah that's sort of like his um personality you know he's kind of like always on the road um i think they sort of wanted to make him seem like maybe he doesn't care so much about his belongings other than you know he wants to have a nice guitar but maybe he doesn't really care so much about like having a lot of personal belongings i don't know that's just my thought on it <laughs> Maybe. If anyone has any other theories, I'm curious to know. Celebrities get away with anything. That's true. That is. That's funny. I think I'm gonna put a bush here. Just because that's gonna be a little bit of an annoying spot to get to, and I think it's gonna look nice with the waterfall behind it. Probably extend this out a bit more if there's room. But either way, it'll look fine. So I'm gonna add a waterfall up here to make it blend a little bit better. I know that's funny. Okay. So yeah, I think I could um terraform this area a bit, because I'm going to have to make my, um, I'm going to have to move those other villager houses soon to make the neighborhood up here, so I could work on this a bit while I'm waiting for the houses to get moved. And where do I want this? What do I want here behind Vivian's house? Do I want another house? Do I want a forest? Do I want to sink it more? Do I want to do mountains? Then it'd be a little bit weird behind here. I'd have to sink all of this and then put my neighborhood further back. That could work. There's plenty of room. Do I want a sunken forest? Ooh, I like that too, though. Maybe different colored bushes too, but I'm not sure which ones yet. I can always switch them around. Yeah, I might think on it because I feel like there's so many op options. It's a really nice island layout, honestly. Um, like all of this land was here, so I didn't have to add this. I just haven't teared it. I haven't terraformed it down yet, and I'm thinking I might actually just work with it. Because um, I like these little areas where you can sort of like look out and it's like just sunken, you know? There's all this gorgeous um, like lake view scenery and mountain scenery. I just love that. 
also makes it easier, in my opinion, to like break up the island a bit more. Like if you do want mountains or waterfalls uh, in any area, like towards the front of your island or even towards the middle, it can be kind of hard to like navigate around it. Um, just because it's so tall. Um, but when you sink behind your mountains this way, you know, you, when you put the sunken areas, it looks really nice, but it also gives you a little bit of like a border so that when you're walking behind your mountain, since the water gives you like some space in front of your camera, in front of your character, you, you don't get lost behind the mountain. You can still see where you're going. So that's like the main reason I do it. Like in terms of functionality, um, it's easier to play that way. But um, I also think it just looks really pretty. So yeah, I hope that helps anyone who struggle with, struggles with that because it's, it's, in my opinion, one of the hardest parts of designing an island is figuring out like, okay, First of all, the navigation path that you want. But also, like, the, you know, with that, just being able to see where you're going and um, not having all your other things, like, blocking your area. Unless that's something you're specifically trying to do, right? Like, there are some cool effects people have made purposely blocking your character, like little secret pathways and stuff. And that's fun. That's cool. Um, but it's not something we want like all the time, right? Like sometimes you want to be able to like see your gifts that drop and stuff like that as much as possible. I will say though, having so much water on the island can make it hard to get gifts because it's like you have to sort of wait for it to go over the water sometimes, but it's pretty. And to me, it's worth the payoff because that's like a minor inconvenience to me. So I think what I'm going to do is start here. Sorry, I was like, I know I just started plucking weeds, but sometimes it helps me focus and think. Um, so I think what I might do is, is bring this river around, and that way I can have this little area, um, like a secret, like hideaway forest. Um, for the community, but like something that I'm sort of pretending that like Vivian created in her backyard. Like she sort of like owns this like woodland a little bit. She's got like a, a pretty big chunk of land here that she owns. Um, but she's got such a big heart. So she's sort of like created um, some little community seating areas, maybe some little fairy gardens in the little forest. I might push some mushrooms or something back there, some little stars. Um, so I'm gonna make like a little like cutesy little forest that Vivian sort of um, decorated. It's technically her backyard, but she shares it with everybody. Um, and I think I think that's a really cute little idea for this spot because I can't extend it out too much because of the beach. So I think a little seating area would be perfect for right here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take this river probably wind it around like this a little bit and either end it here or here. Actually, I might extend this out a little bit more, but I'm not sure because I kind of like having like grassy areas, especially when the beach has, oh, wait a minute. I know what I could do. I'm so sorry. I'm like all over the place. Sometimes this is how I get when I'm terraforming though, because I don't really know there's just so many ways you could go with it. Like there's no right or wrong, but that's kind of what stresses me out about it. So I'm like, I want to do all of them and see what, what I like. So anyway, um, I might put the, uh, 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 what do you call it? Like an incline here so that I can get um, up on this cliff a little bit faster if I'm over here, like in the blathers area and stuff. Okay, so yeah, we'll put an incline over here so people don't get stuck on the beach forever. I mean, a, a, a nice long walk on the beach is lovely, but I don't want people to feel like they have to. I want them to have an option of which way they want to go. Okay.
iron nuggets. That's actually good. Thank you. Okay. So let's get this river started. Actually, no. I'm going to do this cliff area first. Because I do I have a feeling I'm going to want a little bit of a little bit more room for my trees. Okay, so there's going to be a waterfall here. And... Okay, I'm going to bring this out one more. Oh good, I got a silicobra. weird. It's, it seems very random, doesn't it? Like, who gets the uh, Pokemon? Must be like a percentage or something. Okay, this is better. And then I still have some room here. I want at least one... Um, like grassy sitting area on my beach. This isn't quite large enough for what I want, but since my garden's gonna be here, that's kind of different than what I'm envisioning. I want to do a little beachy seating area for like family picnics. This could work over here though, right next to the incline. And then I also have my peninsula. If I don't use this for blathers, I might use this for my my family beach area instead. We'll see. Okay, that's that's another day. I'm getting very distracted. Are you guys the same way? Like when you terraform, do you just like walk around your island and like think about all the different things you could do? And then it's just hard to like figure out where to start or um I don't know, I feel like I come up with ideas and I change my mind a million times before I even feel ready to start that area. I stay hyper-focused on one area until it's perfect, which is a hard way to do it. Okay. I just start doing stuff and if I don't like it, I pivot to another idea. That's what I'm doing. I, I don't know, it's hard. I feel like, oh my goodness, everyone has their own process and uh, it's a good, it's a good um, way to practice like problem solving, I suppose, but I don't know, sometimes I almost feel like slightly overwhelmed, which is kind of why I get distracted because I'm like, okay, hold on. I'm not feeling inspired to do this, or I have to wait to do it, right? Um, so I'll just move on to another area, play around a bit, until I feel ready to go back to what I was doing. And it, I feel like that's the only way I've really been able to finish islands. Otherwise, I get stuck, and then I just kind of, like, restart. But being able to jump around like this, eventually it all comes together somehow. But I think that's why I have to use so many sunken areas and why I enjoy making those so much because it takes that pressure off me. Because, um, you know, if something really doesn't go together, I can always make like a sunken area for like a transition spot and it, it helps. I don't know, that's, that's where I'm at with it. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it. It's just the way that I'm working through it. Um, I don't know. Terraforming is, is a skill. It is. It's it's just like any art, I guess you just kind of develop your style, you know? And we're all just out here trying to figure it out together. It's fun. Just reorganizing my pockets a little bit. Um What do I want to do now? Uh, I think I am going to go up and finish that river. That sounds fun. Or I'm going to get a fishing pole out. I don't know why I just did that. Um, what did I actually need? Oh, the ladder. Okay. 
I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do it. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think you're right. You know, just like anything else, everyone's got to kind of come up with their own way that works for them. Because if you plan it out beforehand, you can just run into a problem and derail your whole build. That's true. So I prefer the flying by the seat of my pants approach. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's good. It gives you more flexibility, right? It's like, because if you change your mind, you change your mind. It happens, you know? I tried making a plan on a map once. I remember that, yeah. And that's what happened to me. Something wasn't aligning and I started my island over. Yeah, I've been there. I have been there s several times. My first island was pretty cool. I was actually proud of it, but um, I never finished it because I couldn't figure out how to get those transition areas done. Um, and because it wasn't like in my, my plan, I, I wasn't really willing to just play around and see what would happen, you know? But that's kind of how I figured out these sunken areas work really well for me. It's just like, I got stuck exactly where you're at. And I was like, hold on, let me just like mess around and see what happens. And it, it ended up looking pretty decent. I think the first time I realized that I was like falling in love with that was um, when I went Whitney's Waterfall. I called it Whitney's Waterfalls because I made like this huge sunken area on the back left um, portion of my island. Um, and it was like, I made the mountains and waterfalls as tall as you can. Um, and then I even added like some little snippets of that top tier cliff that you can't actually climb or put anything on, but just to give it a little more dimension and depth, I put that on there. Um, and then I put Whitney's house like right next to it. And it was so pretty. Um, I can't remember which island that was. It might be the one that's on my, my Switch Lite. Um, but yeah, I, ever since then, I was like, I guess I'm just going to do that <laughs> because it was really fun. Um, versatile and very easy to adjust if you don't like something. I also watch a lot of other YouTubers um, that do like YouTubers and I... I haven't really been on Twitch so much with Animal Crossing, um, but obviously now I am a little bit more, but generally I, I learned a lot of terraforming from, from YouTube. Um, some of my favorite Animal Crossing YouTubers are Console Kato and Flores Crossing, Emma, um, and Lex Play. I feel like they have really, really good terraforming tips. And to be honest, like, Alina. <laughs> Alina's a really good terraformer. Um, and Stephanie, when you did that campsite, um, oh my god, I was in love with it. Like, it was so inspirational to see that. Like, I loved it so much. it out this way a little bit more or I could put someone's house here or both I've got so much room here I'm definitely gonna take up my space I'm definitely redoing that your campsite the one with like it was sort of like it had the country fencing and then you had the flowers kind of like dotted around it that one I loved it. That was my best terraforming. I think Michael's Island has given me the most stress since it'll be a city. It can be more boxy, but I want it to feel natural too. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I loved that. It was so pretty. But yeah, so... Hmm. I feel like pathing might help. Like, if you did, um... If you got, like, a... a let me, there's this, um, I'm thinking of this one island in, in particular. It was actually like a autumn themed um, kind of Halloween island, but it was a city and it looked actually very similar to, um, like, so, I don't 
no, I'm trying to think of the movie. I cannot remember what movie I'm thinking of. I can just kind of see the images from the movie, but it's a very, like, it was a suburban island. Um, it was by CJ Plays, I think. Um, and if I can find that video, I'll put it in the Discord. Um, I'm sure it's on there still. Um, it could have been by Chase Crossing, actually. So let me find the video because I don't want to shout out the wrong person or anything. But um, I'll find that video and put it on in Discord or send it to you on, on text or whatever you want because, or, or both really, um, so other people can see it if they want. But um, it's sort of like a, a very cozy, small town, sort of suburban um, theme but it's in the fall. And what they did is they used certain pathing that was like stone pathing, um, and, and they put some on diagonals. So it was still boxy, but because there were also like diagonal paths, it didn't feel like a big city, just like blocks. Like it, it was very, um, yeah, I think that would help your neighborhood a lot. So I'll send that to you. And, and that might help more because like my terraforming is definitely not like city, you know, um, so I, I can't help like by showing you my stuff, but like I feel like there's so many other creators that like would have really good tips for that. Like specifically that one, it was so pretty and um, super cozy still, but even though like you could definitely tell it was like, like a city, you know, it definitely didn't feel too foresty or anything there. Actually, I'm going to take a break from uh, this uh, river for a second and try to find that video. Like, why wait when I just, I kind of want to take a little bit of a breather anyway. So let me just find it. And that way I can just post it for you all in the chat right now in case anyone wants it. And I'll also put it in the Discord for anyone who isn't here. Okay, yep, it's the first one that came up. Oh no, hold on. That's a different one, but that one's also good, so I'll send you both. So we've got Spooky Suburban Island Tour from QB Crossing. That one's really good. Um, it's amazing, honestly. It's a couple years old, but it's so good. Then we have um, Horrible Gaming um, Oakville. The final tour of Oakville. That's another beautiful one. Okay, so I'm going to send you all of those all of these. I'm going to send those two that I just mentioned, and then um, I'm going to try to find the okay, Yasmin's Corner did. Okay, so it's Colin Crossing. Colin Crossing is who made the one that I was originally thinking of. Okay, so I'll send those three videos real quick. just in case anyone's interested in that sort of style. And, and just, you know, you can just search like cozy town or something on YouTube, but I really love these ones. So.
Okay, so the first one I was sending is Shannon at QB Crossing. That's a really, really amazing island. Pokemon is. Oh, it's cute. Okay, never mind. I remember now. I just looked him up. Okay. Honestly, Stephanie, I think anything that Shannon made would be pretty good because most of her islands have some sort of little town area. So, honestly, like, just like check out anything from QB Crossing. I think it'll help a lot. thinking of was Stranger Things for this one. So not a movie, but this. Stranger Things vibes. <laughs> it's such a great island. Um, I don't think they modeled it off of Stranger Things. It's just like a suburban autumn island, but um, it reminds me so much of that feel. Um, I love it so much. Twenty minutes or so. It's really nice being here with everybody. You have been busy though. I kind of like it like this. I wonder. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little hopping area because I don't want to get rid of this little spot here. I like it. So I'm gonna just make a little hopping area that you can kind of like hop 
bit. Oh, but I want to make sure the villagers can get there too. I'll leave a little space here for them to walk through as well. We can kind of like hop through the forest. It's like a little um, babbling brook or something. I don't know. It'll be cute, I'm sure. Or at least I hope. works, right? Like, they can walk through here. I think. They should. I mean, they'll have to find it. They'll walk around a bit. Oh, wait. But I was gonna... Oh. Might have to create some sort of land bridge. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I'm, I'll figure it out. I'll add something. I really want to do this, so we'll make it work somehow. Eventually. Um, let's go this way more. I hope this works. This might not work, you guys. That's fine. I'll figure it out. Okay. I mean... It's not the worst. I mean, maybe if I, like, moved it back to some trees in front of it or something. I think this corner bugs me a bit. What if I just moved it out more? Oh, I don't like it. Let's make it bigger. <laughs> I mean, sometimes that helps, though. If not, we'll just start over. I mean, I think this is going to work now. Okay. I think because this sort of has, like, a nod to, like, a river mouth, it looks good. But hold on a second. Nope, that's worse. I think that's okay. Anymore. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about it, though. Okay, so I want some of these. I want some white mums. And I need to get some green mums eventually. I'm gonna need some. to the grass so that they can bloom again. So I think for now I'll put my yellow tulips down and I'll just try to um, replace those with green mums when I can get some. All right. sure why but hearing that bee buzz in my ear was really nice like it felt very pleasant to hear that okay hi 
if you can. Don't worry, we're doing your yard next. Apple, I don't know when we're doing yours, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait for us to figure that out. Uh, what's happening? So, why was she doing this weird reaction and then I come up to her and she has nothing to say about it? That's odd. That's fine. Maybe she just doesn't want to talk about it. Or doesn't want to talk to me about it. That's all good. Boundaries, I suppose. It's just weird because my, my first instinct was like, oh, like, does she need something? And she's just like, no, nope, I'm gonna just pretend everything's all good. Like, I'm not sweeping the grass. Okay, let's do... this area before I get distracted again. <laughs> Sherry's so cute. I'm so glad she moved in. I might keep this here. That might be cute. I think I like that together. flower in the middle here. So I don't think I want them. Or I can come this way. Be... 
I don't want the green mum here. Do I want a yellow tulip though? Permanently or do that. I liked the mum here, but I just, I don't love the, the way this river looks. I'm gonna have to adjust this. are so cute in this game when they hop. Aww. I don't know. That's just so cute. Difficulty, buddy. 
So yeah, definitely gonna put someone else's house there. one over by my family picnic area at the back of the beach and then I'll have one towards like the front so that way there's more flexibility and movement but I can still make my little island areas here without making it too hard for villagers to navigate around and then we'll go get bushes. I don't really feel like emptying my pockets, but I probably should just in case we find bushes we actually want. I know, we are getting a lot done today. terraform forever, but I probably should be wrapping up soon. I am already over, but I want to I want to get this spot done. Just having fun.
You know what? I think I might sell my my cherry trees. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I have so many of them. tomorrow probably your island designer gizmo I love that I never noticed <laughs> Pokeballs. Yeah, I'll do it later. Okay, okay, these bushes are nice. We can do these pink ones. some more to get my Nook Mile stamp uh, completed for that one. But I'm pretty close to done with that one. Yeah, I do want to get all the stamps eventually. 
actually. I've not done that yet on any of my islands. So I'd really like to complete them all. Have you ever finished up? No, you haven't either. Yeah, it's a lot. area earlier. That's okay. There are more rocks. I noticed it as soon as I hit the button, but it was too late at that point to make it stop. Butterfly. The butterfly looks really nice near that flower bush. It really feels like spring. right? I haven't done that in a little bit. Actually, no. I want to stay focused. If I do all this, I'm going to be on all day and I don't have... I mean, I do technically have all day. I don't have a ton that I have planned today, but I want to go do some other stuff, so... I think we'll just do... How many bushes? That's three. That's enough. That's good. Yeah. I have mums if you want some. I just don't have all the colors. Such a cute song, actually. And then he says this. <laughs> reading. Apple's working out. What's Sherry doing? Oh, she's eating lunch. Mm-hmm. 
of worked like I thought. Um, I knew this would block it, but I was hoping you could jump from this way, but I don't want to make this two squares. I, I mean, I'll try it. Let's just see what happens. I don't know. It might work. If not, we'll just put it back. that I think we're done because I honestly at this point I I have like four different ideas now for this spot and I'm not sh I don't know which one to do so maybe I don't want to finish the river just yet I think I'm gonna think on it because I like the direction that it's going in but I'm gonna do the little forest area here. That's happening. But I wanna look, I'm, I'm, I wanna think on this part a bit more. It's a mess at the moment, but sometimes it's just how the process goes. It'll be okay, it'll come together. room here so yeah I'm gonna start doing the neighborhood next um, either sometime throughout this week or I might wait till next Sunday and, and do it on stream together if you guys enjoyed today's stream let me know because um, at this point now that I'm terraforming um, I'm more than happy to stream it if it's something that you guys enjoy um, but I also enjoy terraforming just on my own like you know like laying in bed with my switch so I you know if uh if you guys don't like like these kinds of streams like I can totally just do it um at my own pace whenever you know but if you like them I'm more than happy to like prioritize them on Sundays um uh, yeah I think I'm gonna be done with this for right now okay You know, I'm probably not 
even gonna empty my pockets. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I'm probably gonna just end up terraforming next time I come on anyway, so unless there's some sort of event that I need to do, um, like selling turnips, I'm just gonna leave my pockets like this. It's all good. Okay. That is a wrap, everybody. I think you should just do what sounds fun on Sundays at the time. Yeah, that's true. There may be a day that I don't really feel like playing Animal Crossing, but right now I'm sort of, I'm really uh, motivated to like do my terraforming. So I, I feel like it's gonna be a while. Um, let's skip the raid today. Today I need to run. Okay, that's fine. I'll do a raid. Um, uh, you're fine, right? I can handle it. All right, let's um, wrap the stream up and find someone to raid. Okay, we can, Cass is playing Animal Crossing. All right, everybody, I will see you tomorrow if you want to be here for glue booking. Um, if not, probably do some pop-up paleo streams this week. Um, but I'll definitely be here next Sunday, probably terraforming more. So, hope to see you there. I'll post the uh, um, schedule on Discord and um, Instagram as soon as I finalize anything, but I definitely know I'll be here on Sunday, next week as usual. Um, and tomorrow, probably about 10 a.m. Uh, for glue booking. But, I'm not 100% certain on that because I have to check a couple things because um, I'm going to be hanging out with someone and then there's just a couple things. So I'm planning on 10 a.m. But I will post uh, for sure um, tonight what time I'll be on tomorrow what, as soon as I figure it out for sure. But probably 10, probably 10. But just keep an eye out because it's highly likely to change. So, okay. Hold on. I typed something wrong. I always type the at sign and you do not need to. Okay. All right. Hopefully sooner. But if you're here just for Animal Crossing, I'll definitely be um, seeing you Sunday, I hope.